The question arose the other day in one of our Hatch groups about missing accented letters and fonts. In this video, I'll show you how to do that. But first, some disclaimers. Although I live in Arizona, not far from the Mexican border, I am not a Spanish speaker. I know enough Spanish to place an order at Taco Bell. The word caliente doesn't actually have an accent mark over the last E, so you don't need to tell me that it's incorrect. This is for demonstration purposes only. Now some fonts do have extra ASCII characters for those specialty ones, and you can find them in the insert symbol area of the lettering tab. So let's switch over to this window. And if I want to replace this E with the accented character, this is the hobo font, I'll just go to insert character, scroll down till I find it, click on it, say OK, and there it is. Now not all fonts will have this, so if we look at the font list now, we can see that some of these fonts are missing that last character. And if I switch to one of those, I'll zoom out, you can see that I have this box, so it's missing in this character set. Let's undo. We'll stick with the hobo font and just pretend it doesn't have this character. So how will I get this accent mark over this letter? I'll select this text, and the next thing I need to do is find some character that will work. Now in this case, a quote mark will probably work for us. For other accents, you might have to use a colon or a greater than or lesser than symbol. You just might have to see what will work. And if you don't have something that will work in your font, maybe your quote mark is too curly, you can actually use a quote mark from a different font. Hatch lets you combine multiple fonts in one text block. We're not going to go there for this video. So I know that a single quote will work for me. I'll just type that in. Now if your word has accented characters within, say for example this E in the middle was accented, I still add the accent marks at the end. That way I maintain the spacing between all my letters here. Now our accent mark is not over the E. Now comes the hatch magic. I'm going to select this word. I'm going to press B on the keyboard and we'll zoom in. And then I'm going to press H to activate reshape. See these little diamonds? This means we can move the characters. If I select the quote by clicking on its diamond, it activates a whole lot of control points around the letter that can resize, skew, and rotate. Now I currently have True View off and they're easier to see with True View off. So when I turn on TrueView, see how it's harder to see them, so we'll work outside of TrueView. So I want to rotate this accent mark to get it to the approximate angle that I want. Then I'm going to hold down the control key, click and drag on the accent mark, and move it into place. I can still rotate it if I need to. I can click on the outline, and then I can adjust the nodes on the actual shape. I'll zoom back out by pressing 0 on the keyboard. Now press True View, and there's our accent. Let's go back to our original design. If you're wondering how I got the text to flow around my pepper there, I'll press H, and you can see that I have the curved baseline. That's this any shape baseline. Hatch has many powerful tools for designing with text. The more I work with them, the more impressed I am. So thanks for watching this short tutorial. Please like, subscribe, and make a comment. I do try to answer questions.